well, a heartwarming story. Right now, a local mom and dad are enjoying their first week at home with their little girl six months after she was born. Baby Diana spent those first six months in the NICU at Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital, considered a micro preemie, born weighing just 12 ounces. New Six's Nikki Zizaza caught up with the parents in a story all new at 11. Well, baby Diana is at home now and she is doing much better, but her mom says that was not the scenario six months ago when she gave birth to her when she was only 22 weeks pregnant. This is how Joe Mary and Federico's life as parents started in this video provided to New Six by Orlando Health. Hey. Baby Diana born on Mother's Day prematurely, only nine inches long and weighing as much as a large apple. Surreal. She was tiny. It was the smallest human being I have ever seen. I, I couldn't believe that she was still alive. The first six months of her tiny life spent in the neonatal intensive care unit at Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital. She was not responding for seven minutes. I remember minute six, minute seven, they're like, you know, when nothing's happening, what should we do? I was like, just keep trying, please. Hooked up to monitors and cared for by nurses around the clock after Joe Mary suffered pregnancy complications. I had an appointment, a regular routine appointment, and during the sonogram, they discovered that I was dilating and they admitted me to the hospital and diagnosed me with incompetent cervix and I was in labor. While in the NICU, Joe Mary says her adorable preemie faced multiple hurdles, including many touch and go medical complications to survive, like brain bleeds, infections, and repeated blood transfusions. And three days turned into two weeks, then months, and she was thriving and she was doing good and she was defeating the odds. The distance and time between visits even harder for the first time parents from Ocala. Yeah. Eventually, baby Diana improved, earning her a place in Winnie Palmer's history books as the tiniest baby to ever survive at Orlando Health. I guess my church the most is just her being here. Weighing seven pounds and four ounces when the new parent stepped outside with her for the first time surprising doctors by making it home. Now, baby Diana's parents say she is still on oxygen, but she is otherwise doing fine. Reporting in Orlando, Nikki Zizaza, getting results, new six. And we're told Diana will join a small group, fewer than a dozen babies in the world, recorded to have survived at her size and gestational age. That's according to a registry compiled by the University of Iowa. What an incredible story. And to think she's now seven pounds, Four ounces. Now. She's huge now. Looks I, like she's got some pipes. <laughs> it does. I can't and some hair. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to check in with them in like a year from now. Very and see cool. How she's doing. That, that yeah. is a fighter. That no little girl kidding. is going to be a fighter. Well,